Uh, oh, uh, okay. one second. Uh, he's asking for the link. Uh, how do we share the link? There must be a way. Oh, invite guests. I can see it. I can copy. Uh, and I, I, I've got the link. I'm already. Okay. Stuff. So, uh, yeah, morning, Akshay, or oh, actually, good day. Oh, actually, good evening. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, so, when everybody joins, we'll tell who you are, who, who we are. Sorry. Uh, so, how did your week go? Yeah. How did your monk went, think? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to tell about that strategy. It was amazing. Uh, at least, I, productivity has been increased because of that monk strategy. Hi, Dean. How are you? Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Hi, Dean. We're just, uh, yeah. So good. I, I think today it won't be many of us. I think it will be yourself, Akshay. Oh, actually, Arindam is joining. Nice. Uh, there's a seal. Uh, okay, try again. Because Arindam cannot join for some reason. But I do not see do not see him in the list. Uh, yeah, so, so sorry about that. Last time it worked. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah, nice to see you here. Lots. Uh, so, sorry, Dean. Uh, so can you maybe tell to those millions of viewers <laughs> of who you are and what you everyone do? will give introduction. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dean. Um, I'm a DevOps engineer for a company called Operu. I'm also a brand ambassador for the Eddie Hub open source community um, version 2. Um, he's or 0 0.2. We've had a previous conglomerate come through before. Um, I don't know if you've met any of those guys, but um, they're pretty good as well. So, yeah, thank you for having me. And, um, yeah, looking forward to it. Good. Uh, so basically, uh, so my name is Nikita. I started at all. Uh, I wasn't the one who, well, there was Sergey who inspired this stuff. Uh, yeah, so um, I just wanted to create something because we have a lot of good communities, especially Eddie Hub. Uh, there's some weird noise. Uh, Eddie Hub, but uh, people often, even if people are like hardcore, they contribute on code, they often speak about like soft stuff and they don't tell, they support a lot, but they don't tell what they did last week. Yeah. So I wanted to create something simple where people will, oh, Arindam is finally joining. Yes. Now my day is perfect. So we wanted to create a, we had this idea of creating community where we share what we did. And my name is Nikita, so I, I'm the one who created the channel. Oh, and Nicole is there as well. Nicole okay, so that's me, uh, Akshay. Do you want to go next and introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. Hello, uh, Dean, Arindam, and Nicola. I'm Akshay hey. Kumar from India. And Dean, I, I know Dean, and you also know me by Twitter, I think, yeah. So right now, I am doing a DevOps internship. I'm staying in New Delhi and also founder of a growing committee where we learn and grow together, like whatever we are learning, we help to each other so that we can learn and grow together in the group with our journey. And uh, yeah, it was about me. Thanks for having me, Nikta. Yeah, now, so this, uh software is not ideal we just put chat over over the top of the microphone so how do i mute the microphone if chat is so uh good so who wants to go next arindam so, arindam uh i think you're on mute mate arindam your voice is not coming Nearly there. Okay, uh, so uh, I'll just. Uh, so I, I hope Nicole will come. Oh, okay. So Nicole is, will probably come. He has an issue with the camera. Good stuff. So I can start sharing with 
who wants to go next? Otherwise, I'll go next with sharing the last week. And OK, so I'll go first. It will be good because the idea was that we share whatever, so even if we failed. So my idea was to, it was overly optimistic to create a playlist on YouTube or based on uh, ex gradle exercises. I didn't do that. But on Tuesday, I had an amazing session with Gradle, gradle training. Uh, gradle is a build system for Java, basically. Not for Java, it's a build system. It, takes files from one side of the pipe and puts them to another one. But uh, the magic happens in between, up to the security pipelines, code quality checks, zipping, unzipping, compiling, whatever. Um, so, uh, oh, Mikol is there. Yes, now I can see him. Yes. Oh. So, yeah. Uh, hi, Mikol, do you want to introduce yourself? And then I'll continue. With... <laughs> uh, sure, I'm Java developer. Uh, oh. That... oh, yeah. Um... So, sorry. Uh, yes, and uh, with us, as we are <coughs> together with Nikita, we are attending a great course from uh, Bruno Sousa regarding how to grow next after becoming a senior Java developer. Oh, actually, general developer. And uh, definitely, I'm interested in open source uh, uh, activities and don't have too much time to do it active, but uh, I think. Um, my participation in this uh, weekly Sunday meetings could help me and hopefully to the community as well. So, yep, that's why I'm here. Good, thank you. Uh, so, as I was saying, that I didn't create a playlist of Gradle basic tasks, tasks, but I did attend attend the training, and I will have to attend it again uh, because the training is four dash five hours after two hours of Gradle, and they it, it is a very steep one. It's they, 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 It goes into details and important stuff very, very fast. I really loved how Gradle has made it even better because stuff is crazy complicated. So if anybody is interested, I will put a link now uh, to the chat uh, as we speak. Uh, I, I'll put a link there because it's... Um, when you have a community, that's how you do training. So I would say it's like almost ideal. It's all free. They do it across different time zones. So now I have a link to the training materials. And uh, so hopefully I will, now I will go through them. And I have a deck from presentation. Artwork is good as well. And also I have contacted Gradle because Gradle consists of two parts. One is open source and free one. And one is, I'm not sure about open source, but it's called Gradle Enterprise. And they do additional stuff for companies. So it's um, it, 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 it's more robust, I would say. So I've obtained some materials from them. So now my idea is to choose an open source project, which is complicated enough, and feed it to the Gradle Enterprise, because I want to see which kind of meta information about the project it finds. Because they say that it finds like problems, it finds like inefficiencies. Uh, normally, it, it's good because uh, normally it's better with a timeline. So if you have great enterprise, it kind of watches across your whole build. So for example, in some tasks, so it, it caches your build across time, for example. So if some task worked is a deterministic, which means with the same inputs, it will give the same output, they will not run it again. They will just cache it. So which results in like five times faster stuff. And also they show potential problems. So I, I just want to see what it actually looks like. So yeah, that's my plan this week. Plan minimum is uh, feed Spring Boot, for example, to Enterprise. And plan maximum is to start going through the deck, uh, go through the presentation and start going through the exercises. Uh, there will be a lot of them. I've never seen anybody doing that. But they also shared few people from community who do that, who do good quality materials on Cradle. So probably I will start with review. Yeah, that's more important. I will review these people and share them with the community so they get community uh, noticing better the hard work and uh, I, I will help the community as well. So yeah, that's me speaking too much. Oh, who wants to go next? Yeah, I, I would like to see it. Arindam, can you give a try? Okay, he's not able to speak again. It's okay. Nicola, go fix. next? Yeah, Nicola. Honestly, I didn't do much uh, this week, so to be honest, yeah, regarding open source, it was quite complex 
week related to my current project, but I really li like is that most of quite complicated stuff is done, so it's not th that bad result as well. So I think N not ideal, but I mean not ideal because I didn't have much time to do my like additional tasks I plan to do, but at least main part is finished and I think it's most important, at least for now. How was the cooperation with Sergey? Did you manage to exchange um, anything? Not, not too much, to be honest. By the way, it's a good point. Maybe I can reach him in Telegram. Well, thank you for mentioning. Maybe it's a good point, yeah. Maybe it's like none of you will have enough time. time maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but like uh, you can share some tasks and I don't know, do something. Good. Um, Arinda, do you want to go next? Yeah. Nice picture. Nice. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, hello everyone. I am Arindam and uh, currently learning web development. And as I told uh, last week that I was uh, applying for the GDSC thing and uh, trying to uh, build an open source community in my college. So, I have somehow managed the professors and they just approved me that, yeah, you can do the things uh, uh the session things and go ahead with your plan so yeah uh just some formality thing is remaining so this week i will make some roadmap kind of thing uh how how we we will conduct the sessions and things and so then they will uh, like approve that and we will start uh, doing these things uh, very soon probably the second week of april maybe let's hope that and yeah thank you for uh inviting me nikita Welcome. Uh, it, it's amazing stuff which you're doing because uh, you're taking a traditional university, especially in India, and uh, Arindam is actually making them on board the open source journey officially, not just, you know, setting up a desk in the corner, but actually making sure that the university is aware and probably become a part of it. I'm not sure how many universities in India did it, except the one where Kunal studied. I'm not sure many did because when Kunal walks, there's like an open source path behind him left <laughs> with people coding right. Linux and stuff. Before yeah. Kunal, Kunal, because many university was not do this kind of things, but Kunal raised the standard and aware many of the people in India, especially. So nowadays, at least folks like us, they are taking initiative from our side. Yeah, I have just showed the uh, professors about the stats of Kunal, how he made the communities grow and how he is doing some great work. And yeah, the professors be like, yeah, he's, this is something good thing. So yeah, you can do it. So I've, yeah, Kunal helped me in this thing also. <laughs> right. So Dean, um, have you done anything open source related or oh, um, not necessarily last week? Yeah, we've uh, done plenty actually. Um, I know you're you're familiar with Bilal Khan. Uh, we've been working together quite a bit recently. Um, I've been teaching him quite a bit of stuff, hoping to sort of get him some experience with similar work to what I do in my DevOps engineering job. Um, he's picking that up quite quickly, and we're working on a project together called Book Loop. And uh, we've been sort of working on the MVP for that recently and we've made quite a bit of progress. Um, like we sort of do little bits every day. Um, yeah, I can't really remember exactly where it was a week ago, but we've definitely made some traction. Um, like I, I set up a lot of the merchandise stuff. Uh, we've got print on demand set up and everything like that good to go. So um, I think... We're going to get pretty excited to be able to share that soon. It will be nice. Will we get some free stickers, digital ones at least? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> um, also, I did an interview recently that just aired on YouTube. So I just checked out a little bit of that. I'll have to um, look at it properly later as well. I, I've just quickly created a small GitHub page for us oh, yeah. where cool. we can add like whoever wants like goals results and so on so um i've spoken about my goals for the next week so which will be spring boot and then actually reach out to the community of gradle 
two things because Spring and uh, Gradle Enterprise Spring Boot it's more for work, and Gradle Community is more for uh, oh, uh, there's somebody offering us a promotion. Thank you very much, but probably not this time. Uh, I, I will read it later. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yes, yeah, so uh, anybody wants to share goals for the next week? As I understand, Mikola will try to reach out to Sergey, who actually inspired the whole channel because a friend of mine was talking like, don't miss him. He's like, he's a good person. Yeah, who cares? Um, I've got a project that might be suitable for this, actually. I do one-on-one um, -on -one automation with um, my manager. Um, I've got a repository I can share. Have a quick yes, look sure. at that. Feel free. Might, I think you can you share the screen. To be suitable. Um, I've just shared the link. I'm not sure where it comes up, but did that come up anywhere? Yes, yes. Yeah, if you... Um, chat box. If you look at one of the issues... Uh, oh, actually, yeah, it, it's in the private chat. Do you want me to share it in the... In the YouTube chat as well? Yeah, or anyway, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, uh, okay cool. So that's the um, I'm okay. just trying to get this to run. I'll get it to rerun all jobs. Um, what it does is that every Sunday it creates a new issue that uses a template and... Um, yeah, if if you want to bring it up, you can look at some of the closed issues and see what it generates. Um, it basically on a schedule will pick out a random set of questions that are useful for, say, a one-on-one -on -one interview or a weekly goals session. And um, it has another part of a template with it. And it's just something that I find really useful to go through to prepare for my one-on-one -on -one meetings with my manager. Um, a couple of the other people are using it as well. That's interesting. So it will this project generates some one on one questions for use in GitHub issues. Can you bring an example of those questions? Um, yeah, if you go to the GitHub issues on my repository that I just shared. Yeah, um, okay. It be okay. an open issue that says one on one for week of then the date. And if um, you scroll through, you can see what it has generated. Um, I can't see your screen, so I don't know if you're sharing or not. Yeah, oh, I, I, I'm not sharing. I, I will just uh, share now. Okay, so looks like that. Yes. Yeah, and like this, you could easily modify this so it's not just for one-on-ones or for your manager. This could be questions for our Say if we did this as a regular stream, we could have this, the questions all picked out for us. And, um, yeah, I find this to be really helpful. And uh, it, it says it's a GitHub action. Does it mean that it's automatic? So yeah, it is. And you can also trigger it manually too. Um, I set that up in the GitHub action. If you go to the uh, workflow within the code, you can see exactly how. Can you maybe start. share your screen and show how it works? Yeah, sure. Because I always wanted to see how GitHub Actions work, but I've never, oh. I, I always was too lazy. Can you see my screen? Yep. Yep. So this is the uh, read. The read means pretty um, easy to get through. Uh, it explains basically how it works. Um, our questions are in here. So the action it's consists of two parts so one of one of them generates the questions and the template and the other one creates the issue and you can see how it is all in the yaml here um I'll, it'll look more friendly if we do it here but um you can see there's two different workflows set up so if you've never used GitHub Actions before, you choose your workflow and you can see if if this failed, for example, I'd be able to drill in and see exactly what happened. Um, this worked, obviously, so it's fine. But um, one thing I 
set up with this action. Um, where is it? I see how there's the run workflow button. I added a special line to this that allows us to do this. I, I don't know why they don't have it by default, but usually you can't just see this. Um, so if you if you want to test it, usually it only actually runs on push. But, um, yeah, I could manually run this if I wanted to, uh, which I can do now. And what it does, it'll, it'll just change the template. Actually, it's not a bad idea. You can see it run now. So this part is updating the template, which is the first part of the action. Cool, that's done. See how there's three issues here. If I run the workflow again, hopefully it starts. Yep. We should get a new issue up there. It updates automatically now with GitHub, which is cool. It's a new uh, Ruby on Rails feature. I don't know if they... um. I see how there's four issues now. That's the one that we just created. And basically it says, well, I've got it set up. So there's a section for about the manager. So I can have a think of what I want to say to my manager. This stuff that I can think about for career dev development, different conversation starters, job satisfaction, other questions. Um, the idea of these is that you don't have to actually answer all the questions. It's more just to give me some prompts as to something to talk to so that when we end up on a Zoom meeting or something, we're not just sitting there thinking, oh, we've got nothing nothing to say at all. Well, I can have this all filled out and I can... It means our meetings are a lot more... a lot quicker. Uh, all the information that needs to be there is there at the start and we're just good to go. This is interesting. Uh, so how long did it take you to actually learn all these GitHub actions? Uh, I just did it as I was wanting to. Do this is actually the project I used to learn GitHub actions properly. Um, this oh. was one of the first GitHub actions I actually wrote completely myself. And so, uh, um, Okay, and what's... Uh... Because I've never used GitHub Actions, so uh, it's if... it's really quite friendly to use. Um, basically, if if it's pre Chat GPT time, um, I just had the documentation open. But now um, Chat GPT is very familiar with it, so if you need something done, you can just ask for it, and it'll. If it's wrong, it's not going to be wrong by much. And you can experiment as you go. As you saw with my one just then, I had a little entry in there that allowed me to run the workflow manually. That's something that you definitely want to do because when you're writing them, you don't want to have to push code every, every time you want it to run. Um, there's some tools that let you run it locally as well, and that's quite handy too. Thank you. Um... I think I'll actually use your style and next time I will come with like slides and mini presentation and not just <laughs> what I did to inspire people. So, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if Bilal is joining because he has the evening prayer. Um, yeah. I'm just thinking what else can we... So, anybody has anything to discuss? Or, or what, was the best, uh, what was the best stuff you learned this week? For example, Aksham, how how did your focus go? Did you? Yeah, did, yeah. I want you to said it increased last... productivity increased, but like yes, yes. Uh... I I as you mentioned last week to practice that monk strategy in your working. Uh, so it was wonderful experience. I I I did I practiced that monk strategy. Like I set the my work for two two hours, and I keep my phone side away. So I focused totally on two hours on a work. Then again took a break for like 30 minutes and again set a time and again did a, another work two hours. Like, yeah, it was amazing results. Productivity and focus was at next level. So that was a great study. Yeah, I, I would also suggest to... for students. Yeah. 
uh, I actually thought more about what Mikola said about this, uh, that you cannot always leave focusing to yourself. Sometimes you need to switch to the team. And I thought that it's really nice if you actually build like what, what can help to understand should you switch or not is like to build a tree of priorities in life. So let's say ultimate priority, I don't know, get rich and or help people around you or whatever, uh, save elephants, something which matters for you. And then things be below, they are connected like leaves. So because like life, it's a very big task, like live a good life. But then fix this task is like a part of a job, which is a part of helping the community. But then when a distraction is coming, you need to ask like, is it worth switching from what you are doing now? Will it make this tree better or worse? Because if the house is on fire, but you're like, oh, I just need to move it to Java 20. Uh, and you will burn down with the building there and it will damage the whole tree. So maybe the task will get completed, but it will kill everything, any, all the plants. Uh, so because basically Mikola made me think about it because uh, he's a architect slash developer and he doesn't push people away when they come. Well, not always. He didn't tell us about this, the dark side. <laughs> Mikola, do you want to add anything? Okay, oh, Bilal is Bilal here. Is there, yeah. Good. So, one second, I will try to manage to click. But, yeah. hey. So, uh, Bilal, would you like to introduce yourself? And then we had a question for Mikola. And then, and... hi, Bilal, we can see you and we can Hello. hear you. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, that's the legend, Mikola. That's that's our one of the most famous, like, he's amazing. <laughs> Uh, so thank you, uh, everyone. I'm Bilal Khan. So I'm a content creator and on YouTube and uh, Hashnode. So I create content on uh, related to DevOps and uh, Golang. And uh, yeah, so and I uh, recently completed the 60 Days DevOps series. And uh, I am just starting out uh, my new project that is called Book Loop. And uh, my um, friend, Dean Lofts, has uh, joined me in this project. And we are working together. Yeah. Hiding. So this is our show, my short intro, and I recently became the AWS community builder. So I am engaged in that uh, uh, space also in that community. So I am creating, I'm trying to create a content and learn new things and share it on YouTube so that other people can also learn. And I also contribute to open source. So I have uh, contributed to various open source projects. Like uh, the first project that I started from was uh, Linux for Pirates, uh, the Dean Lofts uh, uh, book. And uh, after that, uh, I uh, contributed to the Kubernetes, and uh, I recently con uh, contributed to the uh, Digital Ocean. And uh, yeah, I'm finding some more projects to contribute into, and yeah, make my name there. So, so yeah, first of all, uh, Ramadan Mubarak, if I pronounced correctly. So yeah, so uh, yeah, so yeah. I'm. I Sorry, I was uh, busy because I was having, uh, I was breaking my fast. Uh, so right after that, I have to go to prayer, and after that, I joined this meeting. So sorry for the delay. So yeah, yeah, I I know it's a very strict term because I do karate, and a lot of people there they also celebrate Ramadan. And some don't even drink, and when black belts don't even drink, they sometimes sway and go and hold the fall or something. But like, I. It's nice to see somebody with such a strong power, power of will, and these people make the world a better place. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, so uh, I'll just quickly go to Mikolo because I was asking because basically last week we were talking about focuses and about monk mode. Basically, it's when the person focuses on some meaningful task and works. But then Mikola also noted that sometimes you have to switch because the task to you to which you are switching might be worth it from the point of view of like your life. Maybe there's a house on fire or something. So uh Nicola, can you share your views on that? Yeah, I can share a couple of details regarding this point. I definitely agree with uh, Nikita that uh, switching is really painful switching context, but uh, the 
uh, let me first start with one example. At one of projects, uh, there was a team lead. He was everyone was agrees that he is real great team lead, but there was only one issue with him. You can ask him a question. You can wait for like half a day, couple of days for your for answering for answer for, on your question, and it's really was real tough because. And another point, it's let's uh, uh, Nikita gave a real great example, like uh, imagining your like uh, life goals as a tree. So maybe another uh, another important point, another important answer to answer to question. Uh, sorry, not an important question to answer is like what is important for your job. For you as an engineer, of course, it's important to w- work on your task, on your architecture, your design and implementation, your design. But uh, if you will look wider, step aside. Uh, 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 every uh, project, every company is making a business. And, most of business are helping to other businesses. So uh, is it rude or not? But uh, it's not that important for how great is your current task, but it's important how much you can help uh, a business of your company. For example, you are working on a great task, you're focused on it, you're making the great stuff. But if some person is uh, was asked by some client to help or to fix an issue, and it's as, as soon as this issue will be fixed, the better will be for for business, for reputation, for your company. And uh, it's the question is, what is more important? Your focus on your task or helping your company to make business better? So it's, it's, that's my motivation to try to help people. Of course, it's uh, we, it makes ha- have a common sense. It's don't have to di- disturb you every moment, every minute for some small things, but uh, it's very important to be uh, proactive, uh, quickly answer questions, especially if they are uh, affecting your business, business of your company, I would say. That's my point. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I think it's very similar to what Arindam and Bilal are doing, and actually Indian as well, but I will use Arindam and Bilal as an example. So Arindam knows how to do open source. He knows where to go but he doesn't, and Bilal as well, but they don't keep it to themselves. They Instead, they spend considerable amount of energy to share it so other people could have an easier path than, than they did. So, uh, because even like, uh, even, even read the story of Bilal getting this microphone. So, uh, so yeah, and if, if anybody is listening, so uh, you, can, uh, you can go to Bilal Khan's page on Twitter and you can support him. He's uh, one of the biggest influences upcoming in the, uh, how do I call this, uh, uh, Pakistan and India region, I would say, and across the world as well. So I would really appreciate if uh, you support him. I'll do after the stream. <laughs> I've got a salary. <laughs> so yeah, but if there was a story of his microphone. So he's using the same as I do, uh, this uh, Jetty Blue. But I got it with zero. Uh, so it's like 150 or something. And I got it with zero post delivery and he got it with like hundred dollars delivery uh, and uh, that makes you understand that actually working in open source the way we did do here in Europe it's actually a privilege it's a huge privilege you can just get so many things even for free so uh yeah so Bilal I'm <laughs> whenever I cannot get out of bed I, I I think next time I will think of what you're doing and it will help me to start doing my stuff <laughs> so thank you mate thank you so Bilal, you were sharing about, uh, so basically the idea was we shared our goals. Uh, so, uh, oh, actually, actually didn't share his goals for the next week. Did you? Or did I yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Uh, for next week, my goal is to uh, practice for Python. Recently, I have done a three hours uh, session on YouTube. So I would like to practice that uh, for this week with Python and all. Oh, uh, why? Yes. Why, why uh, are because... you doing Python? Uh, because as I am also going in DevOps, so for DevOps, Python and GoLang, two languages are very important to use. So I am starting with the Python. That's what Bilal is doing as well. He, Bilal, you are doing GoLang and platform engineering at the moment, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, GoLang. I, I think Bilal is doing that. Similar. Yes. So maybe you could talk to Bilal and work on the same project or something. That will be more fun. I shared this dev lake with Bilal because... Well, one, one thing is they're open source. And second, I think you need to double check, but it's basically, it's like a triangle. It's Hong Kong, uh, India, uh, rem- remote India, so I cannot be more specific, and San Francisco. And I've been with them when they went to Apache incubator state. 
So now it's Apache incubator project. It's something about creating platforms. Don't ask me what it is. I don't even know. But I know that some people there got they, they got some remote hires. So um, and also when you become contributors with them, you become an official Apache contributor, which brings nice things. I think I, th I assume you will get IntelliJ license for free, which is not as cheap, uh, and email for Apache. But uh, it's not for like hello world changes. But uh, so. Uh, that's why I shared uh, Bilal's achievements with uh, Maxim, who is, uh, well, he, he started all the stuff there. So maybe you want to catch up with Bilal and maybe you can ask like Bilal, if you don't have any specific project in your mind. So maybe- No, can... not right now, but yeah, I'm looking for it. Definitely I will, I will. <laughs> because okay. I can see by the, by the look of Bilal that he has 20 projects in his mind. She does <laughs> the, she, he only has 24 hours, that's the problem. <laughs> In a day, he needs more. So, uh, so Dean, you will be working on uh, on those, how to call it, on the automation, right? Or yeah, um, I'm actually looking at some uh, sort of stuff with Twilio at the moment, uh, registering um, some alpha uh, alpha numeric sender IDs. Um, they've changed some policies in the country that I live in. So um, we can't use it the way that we were doing. And I've been dealing with all the paperwork to sort that out. Um, I'm also looking at some cost optimization stuff for our AWS um, environments because we're consolidating a lot of what we have, um, organizing it better, and just trying to reduce the amount of extra bills that we have for stuff that we probably aren't using. Um, I don't know how much you've dealt with AWS in different companies before, but it's easy for those costs to creep up without you knowing. And, um, yeah, before you know it, it's like another $10,000 every month, and that's not a good thing to have. So, yeah, I'll be aiming to get that down this week. So you will be aiming on cutting down costs for usage of cloud? Yeah. I know, I know where a lot of it is. Um, I'm just going to go through and get rid of it. Well, it will be interesting to see. Well, they, they, is it an open source or to your work? I'm just. Uh, oh, this is for my actual work. Okay, um, so that you but, cannot really share, I guess. <laughs> well, not the detail, but what I like to do is I keep a journal of everything that I do, so I can then go and create stuff that isn't actually our work but it's just mm -hmm. similar and real world examples but just with dummy data that doesn't actually affect what i'm yeah, doing just, yeah because that, be that way i can like when Bilal and i are working together we actually can go through really real world stuff like because it's the stuff that's fresh on my mind and it's real stuff that i've had to deal with that's in good. my job too that will be a good stuff too share with people b before they get hurt because mm. i've uh with Mikola, we're in the same community with our mentor bruno and one of the students there shared as they had a ten thousand pounds bill because somebody have chosen wrong type of ec2 server or something yeah. and i think he got lucky because uh, he worked for a company which had free credits or something like this <laughs> so he got yeah. away with it but if I just imagine getting ten thousand pounds bill and I'm, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. Given it's not your main email, you can just sign out and pretend it never happened. But <laughs> um, it depends on how you feel about that. I cannot. I cannot suggest these things. My work won't be uh, <laughs> happy with me even suggesting such stuff. Well, yeah. Um, well, I, I wouldn't be doing it on our work yeah. account. Definitely so not. Instead, instead, people. Uh, oh, maybe everybody can write your social handles on Twitter in the to in the chat. But just for whoever is watching it, just watch Dean on Twitter, and maybe that will save you quite a bit of money. So, uh, Bilal. So yours now. So any specific tasks you want to share for the next week? Maybe you can kindly cooperate with Akshay as well. Yeah. You intersect in the Golang area uh, and platform engineering. So the, if, if Akshay doesn't have any strong preference for Python, then maybe it's Golang. Yes, 
sorry, there's a communication problem, I think. That's uh, in uh, in area where Bila lives, there's uh, not always, internet is not always stable there, which is, uh, yeah. We should hopefully change one day. Yeah. Uh, Arindam, uh, so your plans. So if you're yeah. making university change, how do you do it in India? Come on, <laughs> these things don't happen. <laughs> Yeah, like uh, Kunal is uh, a kind of inspiration for me. Like he gave the pathway that, yeah, you can do it from your university. Start from the small, start uh, something from your home. So yeah, kindly you, this university is my home for now. It's, so yeah, I'm just trying to make them uh, aware of these things. So I will, what I will do this week, like make some presentation for the uh, session I will take uh, on open source mainly basically on Git and GitHub probably then I will figure out what I will like organize so I will probably invite some of the uh, open source uh, grades or like they could give some thoughts like their experience or some uh, insights so yeah that's what I am kindly doing and I will uh, learn JavaScript mainly because I am learning JavaScript and uh, focused on the web development part so this week I will uh, learn JavaScript and make these things and try my best to like help them. And last week I just uh, selected as uh, Google Cloud Community Days uh, Kolkata. Uh, uh, what to say? That is campus expert. Yeah, like uh, campus ambassador, you can say. So yeah, so I will just trying to uh, involve them in the. Uh, global community so that they can network with each other and some great folks and yeah enhance their career so yeah i'm just uh, i will be doing these things and let's see how much i can do and uh, will you create a page on github for that uh I, I haven't thought about that but yeah i can create a if page. you're helping people let them at least add their name so do something there give them a project and let them create first contributions there yeah, I was just thinking about and uh, making a website for that so that a simple website so that they can start contributing mainly. Yeah, uh -huh. let it be just a document, but at least they start moving. I've added yeah, to the yeah. chat a link to the first time contributions, which like for those, it's like baby steps. Yeah, I did them. Uh, but your idea of learning JavaScript in just one week, it reminds me of Mikolas' productivity. Uh, no, no, I'm just, uh, <laughs> not for just this week, but I'm learning JavaScript for like uh, two, three weeks and I will continue that learning. So, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> so, the, I think we have left, uh, we have uh, lost Viral, but uh, yeah, that's that's a shame. Maybe electricity problems or something. But we'll learn with him, uh, from him. So uh, anybody wants to share anything else? You are on mute, actually. You are speaking something. OK, good. So we have goals set. Next time, what I will do differently, inspired by Dean, I will bring some evidence of the stuff I've done. I, I, I could do it now, but it will require like showing. Um, oh, I, actually, I can actually quickly show. I, I have a document open. Let me see if I can do it. So uh, let uh, I will add the link in the. It's Gradle, but uh, I don't want to show it as a Gradle as such. I want it to show as the way they do the training. So uh, window this one, and see. I don't know if you can see. So even if you look just at the design of all this stuff, so um, so I, I've shared the link there. Uh, oh, the link is actually to training materials. That's different. But uh, if you ever want to create your own uh, course, because I, I was really inspired by the way it's all packed together and by the way the person who is behind the training uh, is actually doing it. Because when I see, for example, Mikola explaining something, it's like, uh, how does he do it? So uh, my idea now is actually to understand it to the level that I can give this talk with the slides and not just by reading it. Oh, Kunal is, oh, yes. Bilal is joining. Hi, Bilal. Sorry for the delay. So there was no, internet no, connection problems. That's fine. So 
it, it's all yours as a priority while you have electricity and internet so uh, what are your goals for the next week if you can share Yeah, Bilal, so uh, if you don't mind sharing, it's okay if you mind, uh, but if you don't mind sharing for the next week, as I understood, you will be working with the Golang project, right? And open source contributions. Yeah, so yeah, so basically, I am currently working on the ProCTL project where uh, that is a copy of Mercom. So Monday.com is a project management uh, application. So I have written the same application uh, in the command line interface by using Go programming language. And uh, this uh, uh, this software or this application is using the Cobra framework for this uh, command line interface. So I'm using Cobra library for building a command line application. And uh, yeah, you can join it. And especially Akshay, if you uh, are working on this uh, Python or Golang, so you can contribute into this project. I'm open for it. I'm open for the ideas and uh, you can start contributing into it. I, want, I, will, I will check the PRs if you uh, send some PRs to it. So yeah, this is my current project that I'm uh, building. And on the side, I'm also working on the um, AWS pro, uh, small projects that like uh, um, how you can create the EC2 instances or uh, uh, S3 bucket or other things, uh, other resources using Go programming language. So these are uh, the community things that I'm doing for the AWS community. So yeah, this is also my responsibility as an AWS community builder. And uh, on the side, I'm working uh, with uh, Dean uh, on book loop project. Uh, and in a few days, uh, the MVP will be released. And you will see uh, what are the things that I have uh, done in that pro book loop. And uh, you can roast me also if you want to. Be, uh, this is my MVP uh, uh, first startup. So I'm open for ideas, yeah. I actually have a request to Actually, I have a number of requests to do because I'm part of London Java community and they're too kind to me. But well, we have those lightning talks for those who are speaking for the first time or for, the, for those who are speaking for the first time. Uh, so it, it's online. So it would be really nice, Bilal, if you could, uh, if you could uh, join us. If you drop me a quick message on LinkedIn, I will try introduce you to Jade from London Java communities. And... Uh, Maybe you or you and Kumar, you could uh, show how this command line tool works. You'll have like five minutes for first talk and two minutes to sh answer the questions. Uh, but then when you apply to conferences or something, you can always say that you have done this talk. It will go on YouTube and such. And there are longer versions of talk, like 30 minutes, but that's like, let's not mix. Let's, let's make sure that small steps, that st this stuff happen. And Arindam, if you manage to change university or if you fail, uh, it, it will also be a great story. So it, it would be nice if you could uh, come and talk to London Java community about how you did that. I promise you there will be more visitors than in this team. Although we have quite a lot, I think uh, there were like some, like eight people watching at some point. Um, so uh, hello to Samya Brata Maji. Uh, namaste. Uh, so and uh, same for Mikola when when Sergey, if you if you manage to do anything which is tangible, or if you fail completely with anything tangible, it's still a good story. I know for you it might be like uh, you've done so many talks already, but for Sergey it will be his first one. So like if you can, sometimes it's uh, because he's shy, as many developers. Like last week I've been to this uh, meetup from. Atomic containers. They actually, it's not an exactly a meetup. They just it was interesting because they met a community meeting, so they invited people who uh, wrote, uh, who wrote something about atomic uh, test containers or who did something for this open source project. So um, they couldn't register. You could be invited, but I noticed that people are either not talking. Some like you know typical developer standing with a plate of food next to a wall doesn't talk to anybody, or they talk about like just chit chat and then I started talking to them and then wow this one is a consultant from Norway so like he shared a lot of stuff I, I probably asked wrong questions so now I know more about Tesla's and green electricity in Norway I should have asked different questions but another person was he created a website on conferences which uh, allows you to uh sorry I don't have a link at hand I should have uh, which is quite a good website, actually, like uh, conferences use it because you can like search by month and stuff. 
and that's the second website. And the third person I talked to, he was a, one of the main contributors to Jenkins. And the company he works for, they actually they created a commercial version of Jenkins. I don't remember the name. So they provide like extra functionality and stuff. But so, and it was so funny because even company, uh, even those who invited him didn't know that he's actually main contributor to Jenkins. And he knows this stuff in and out. It's like knows people and everything. And uh, he did a Java talk, uh, talk at London Java community ages ago. So I asked like if he can do it again. But uh, when you have these local communities, uh, I know it's hard talking to people, but for many people, they don't even realize it. They, they just, or they talk about stuff, which is, so for, for you, it's a bit easier because you are like next version. Next version. <laughs> so uh, I'm sorry, so, so, I really miss uh, <coughs> like a raising hand button in a stream. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I'm sorry for interruption. Uh, if you don't mind, I can provide you another good example, which proves that many great developers, maybe it will be really great if you say share more what they know. One of fr friend of mine created an article just sharing his uh, experience regarding some topic. And he got a lot of uh, comments from one person, real great, uh, very deep comments, and he, which uh, reached his uh, article a lot, uh, maybe like 200 persons more <laughs> deeper. And they just he, he would wonder, like, why is that person didn't write an article by itself? <laughs> because if he will, will not, my friend will not write this article, and maybe kind of provoke that developer to <laughs> share his knowledge, we will not know <laughs> his experience. So it's kind of funny and uh, quite that's... deep story. <laughs> yeah, Money. that's so. Uh... Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. No, no, go on, go, go on, go on. I'm done. It's uh, like, for me, I know what I can expect of Ukrainian developers. Like, you all be amazed, like, how many build accounts are there. Not enough, but still many. Uh, and I can, I know what I can expect from developers from North Africa and Central Africa and from India and from Pakistan. Uh, but many people don't. And from Brazil, and to be honest, it looks like all over the world. But uh, many people, they don't know it. So, like, what we all can do is like now we will have our networks. Hopefully you can exchange your contacts, uh, maybe in chat, your Twitters. Just make sure you're connected to each other and put a bell because I think it's very important to be, I, I think the communities are there, but the bridges are not perfect yet. So people who build the bridges and keep them clean and share stuff uh, because, uh, I don't know anybody, for example, who is doing more in the worlds of Golan in platforms than Bilal. And I don't know anybody who organizes, who helped ever organized. Well, I know conference organizers, but I don't know those who organized the first Java conference in London. But I know Mikola. And I know people who organize DevOps now, DevOps UK. So uh, when a uh, tough situation in Ukraine ends, I'll pray for that. So maybe Mikola will come here and help with DevOps and show them how it must be done. <laughs> because there are only two people running it, actually. It's a huge conference and there are two people. It's, it's crazy. But yeah, let's build the bridges. There's enough people burning them so we can build and stop those people. Okay, uh, I think we have a plan set. Next time I will do better and I will bring materials to show. I will mostly care about Gradle community and those who came and Sergey, of course. And basically, I will care more about communities than about me showing off with Gradle stuff. So, but I really want to see. Yeah, I really want to know what people do for Gradle and as uh, contributors. Like, I, I want to see Gradle versions of Bilal and Akshay and Dean. I want to see what's there because for me, it's a great area. We do not intersect with these people often. Uh, can I ask a quick question? Yeah. A uh, question for, uh, well, uh, do you remember uh, what is Gradle is written on? Is it on C++ or? Um, I know the two languages they're using. I don't know which one is written in. Uh, they're using uh, Groovy a lot. Maybe it's written in Groovy, I'm not sure. But now, even their especially their trainings, it's pure Kotlin. Mm -hmm. I think there's a change, a big change happening in the company. So uh, 
So that's something very interesting to look at because the major build tool and they don't position themselves anymore as a, if they ever did as a Java build tool. Now they just build tool. Uh, so it, it will be very interesting. Groovy. Sorry? It says it's written in Groovy. Oh, thank you. Yes, so it's, it's a beautiful language. But uh, the difference between, uh, uh, let me actually quickly Google it. The difference bet uh, between Groovy and Kotlin is if I, if I go to CW Job UK now, uh, one moment, I will just, uh, I will try to share this, uh, this tab. Uh, th that's how I changed. So when, when I check technology to learn or something, I normally try to get some data. So the CW jobs, it's a, it's a page for searching jobs. If I type uh, Groovy here and let's say London, because London is a good example because it's a huge city. There's a lot of stuff, right? How many jobs will I get for that? 12, right? And uh, yeah, so well, that's better than on some bad days. But if I write Kotlin here, oh, 19. I expected the difference to be better. So, uh, so there's a. I will be very careful with switching to Groovy, like personally. It's a beautiful language, but I'm always like, you have so so much energy, so you need to be careful with what you select. Like if doing Python and Golan and platforms at the same time, it's better to go with friends who already do either Python and platforms or Golan and uh, platforms. I'm I'm not pushing you away from Python actually. If you, yeah. you know what you are doing, so don't let me do it. But I'm just cautious that if we don't have people who are working in, on Python in this group, but we have those who do on Golang, and the console thing, it's amazing. It's like, for example, you could talk to Bilal and you could make a video. Like if, if Bilal, let's say Bilal doesn't have a time to make a video on something, but he, he can give you an idea and you make just this video on like how console tool works and stuff, how it's built, whatever. You can interview Bilal if you want. And uh, just make sure you, you code as well. <laughs> so there's <laughs> enough people talking. <laughs> it, it, it's just an example because that's uh, that's why I started doing Hindi because a lot of people around me speak Hindi and uh, Portuguese, not so many. It's uh, only Bruno and a few friends in, in my friends in Brazil and I meet them not very often. Uh, yeah. And I was like, uh, uh, not all, sorry for interruption. A uh, uh, quick, uh, not urgent question. If maybe for you, Nikita, and for everyone, uh, do you even maybe eventually met some interesting uh, project which is written on Java and needs some help? Oh, yeah, uh, a lot. A lot. So, uh, test containers will be number one. Test containers slash atomic jars. I, I would just, just to be honest, even they said, told, told, told me like uh, the develop advocate who is a Java champion, Alex Shilev. Yeah, I think you might know him. Uh, so you either know him or you know Anton Arhipov, and then Anton Arhipov knows him. But he said that they need more people. So because there's Java Enterprise as well, but uh, which is cool. But okay, short answer: test containers needs people. And uh, the, the thing is that it's a new stuff. Which, what they allow is similar to what Bill is doing in a way. They created a product, a tool, which is free. It's actually started as open source. It still is open source. It used to be test containers. Now they got $25 million funding. There's a page on Bloomberg about that article. So like in your code, you can write that I'm, I will be using Postgres container for my tests and here are the scripts to initialize it. And as long as you have a Docker, this thing will know how to go and download the correct version of Postgres and use it for your tests. So it runs locally. Now you don't need to like do those manual H2 databases in your project. You don't need to do manual Docker. You just need to install Docker once. And this stuff, it's like, if you think how many areas can benefit from tests run locally when you can, the speed of this stuff is amazing. The, the, so, it, 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 and because it's new, because it's new, uh, like even in, in Ukraine, uh, even in peaceful times, uh, even with your level of developers, there won't be that many people who has already fully uh, embarked on it. It's like Kotlin five years ago, I would say. There was even this picture of this waiting uh, thing, like it's it's called Zhdun. Uh, we, we have a picture of this Zhdun. I'll try to find it. But it's like there was a picture of this thing and it was said that 
meet a conference waiting when somebody will start uh, coding in uh, in Kotlin. I, I, I'll just try to find this picture. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to find something. Uh, yeah, I found one which I probably Anton Archipov shared. Uh, let me show. So uh, the window, this one, this one. So yeah, that, that that thing is called uh, a waiting thing. So that it it sits there and waits till you st till we start using test containers. <laughs> I would mm -hmm. say. And those who start, they will uh, well will help. And uh, again, it's open source. It's extremely widely used. There's a ton of Java champions around, and um, it's a good place to be. And also, like personally, the connections between Estonia and Ukraine are extremely strong. So like. <sighs> And if you don't like it, come to Java Enterprise. We also need people a lot. Mm -hmm. I wish I, but yeah, I'm more talker. Oh, Jakarta. Yeah, Jakarta. E, there's a new release now. We need people to test, like, uh, for example, Hello World example. There, we need to test UI. Uh, the level of people in Jakarta e is amazing. They're like, they're the most senior Java developers you can imagine. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, I, I I can check. Uh, one second. Uh, what was the name of this uh, friend? Uh, I, I can check one. He is extremely high in Microsoft in the in Java level. Uh, sorry, with my autism, it's uh, it, it it's a bit trickier than uh, for a normal person. I, I, I'll find this, per but like, for you know what? Try try test containers. See how it goes. And uh, you can also then test containers. This thing you can take a look, but um, test containers it's uh, because it's about service and a lot of people that rank those Microsoft. So if you're into service, do test uh, do Java E. If you're into just into helping your company, then oh, now we have an answer. So uh, I would assume that people in your company are extremely busy and you have a lot of stuff to do. So it would be nice to see if test containers manage to lighten your load by 1%. That will be a huge win for your company. That's... Actually, believe it or not, but we are using test containers at some of our projects oh. so far. Wow. This is good. Now I want you to at LGC as well about test containers, if you could maybe... Uh, it doesn't have to be you, Mikko. You can send other developers if you're busy. But if you can DM me with a short description of idea or any other, you can, I don't know, we, we, we embrace all kinds of talks in London Java community. It can be about, I don't know, yoga or self-defense or uh, learning anything. Uh, namaste, Suvik. Namaste. Uh, so, um, yeah, so you can, because so we are very friendly there. And uh, if you have somebody shy who can still talk, some junior or, or 10 of them, and let them come. So yeah, everybody is invited. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, London Java community never says no to me. I don't know why. But... <laughs> okay. Nikita, um, we have a question. Can I just if you don't yes, mind, sure. can I try to play a role of kind of moderator, just helping you? Yep. So we have a question from uh, Anadin, if I pronounce it right. He asked, what is the best language for travel-based application? Is Java, Spring, or Node.js? What do you think, guys? Well, I will answer with the words of uh, Anton Kex, who is extremely, uh, who is extremely cool developer and business person in one of the in code uh, code born. I will share the link with you. So go with the simplest solution you can. I, I, I will just share the link to the company and uh, my and the name as well. Uh, she's amazing, uh, and I think uh, Node.js will be easier. It will be cheaper and it will be easier, at least in the beginning. You can always move to Java, but from what I remember, I'm not a pure Java developer and I'm not religious in coding. But from what I remember, Java is heavier, and it's about multi-threading and clusters and stuff. So do you need it for a simple travel application? Mm. So yeah, that's my point. Uh, anybody wants to add? Mikola, I know you I... love Java. For you, it's probably hurts. 
And it maybe it's my excuse for using Java, but still, uh, I completely agree with uh, Nikita. But maybe you, you, you have also asked some questions about future, like what will be, how you pro planning to extend your program or your system in three months, in half a year, in future, if it will be something really complex, if you're planning to use many users, uh, relatively complex business logic. In this case, maybe it makes sense to start from. Actually, you can start from uh, Node.js and then switch to Java if you would like. Yeah. But yeah, another option. I think that there's another Anton, which is Anton Arhipov, which Mikolo might know. He's a Java champion as well from Estonia. Really cool. Uh, now he works in uh, JetBrains, actually, IntelliJ and stuff in Kotlin. But he once said that this, he was talking about this uh, paradox in, uh, I think it was in, 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 in United States, like in California and stuff, like this uh, Silicon Valley, whatever. So the projects who build their stuff out of uh, shit and sticks, they succeed. So you need to do it as fast as you can, uh, 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 as quickly as you can, so it works. Just uh, so don't think about technology as such. Think how can you create the fastest results which can work? Because the companies who will start building this perfect tool, they will come next when you're already in the market. And uh, and they will be just watching from land as you're flying there. And you know, yes, it initially it was a, a shit and sticks, but now you have those plasma turbines connected. You have, I don't know, AI ruling everything. So it's improving gradually. So I would say concentrate on community and people who will be using it and make sure that they see the value as fast as possible and then fix it later. So, and internet is not in Java. <laughs> it's Python, <laughs> JavaScript. I, I love Java, but it took me a long of time. To, so yeah, so thanks to Anton Kex, Anton Arhipov and Nicola for their wisdom. Uh, anybody wants to add? Defend Java. <laughs> They have fun mascot and they have cool conferences and they work well on enterprise servers. But um, our building enterprise here right now on day one, no. You know, it depends maybe on task you are solving. I met a guy and uh, actually it was on a Drupal conference and he switched from Java to a Drupal because he told, you know, now I'm working on Drupal just to, works better for me. I can, for a couple of weeks, I can create a completely work inside from the start to the to the production and it's great but uh, for java when i was on java enterprise sometimes it took just two, two weeks for me only find a one line of code to, to make a fix <laughs> so it's like different styles of work different styles of systems maybe that's no not uh, better yeah. was just different sorry for interruption I haven't worked with Java for so long but all I think about whenever I hear it is public static void main it's just burnt into my head. But, so yeah, so but if you want to do Java, come to Mikola. Actually, I talked about complexity. I have some experience with C, C++ as well. I'll compare if you will, my personal ex, ex, impression as well. If you compare Java with C++, when you have some separate file for declaration, separate file for definition, in this case, Java is much more convenient, in my opinion. You're talking about complexity of languages. I just kind of try, trying to protect Java. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice language. Last week I was at a meetup in London on, well, one of the speakers got sick. So a person from investment bank spent, stepped in, developer. Uh, I'm trying not to use any names here. I don't want to get sued. But what they did, they, uh, it is so Java is known for automatic memory management and garbage collection and everything. So they, they, they canceled all that. They moved to the unsafe area of Java where you can manage memory and indexes directly. And they created database from ground zero distributed database. And they basically they sacrificed everything Java gives for the speed. So they can, can connect now these packages to other places in Java. They showed code like you have pages like that and a very talented person he's like you know i spent a day looking for a bug here and i found one and it never actually <coughs> happened in the live system but it's, it was there and there was some you know uh, they, they literally move bits with a sign like those uh, three big marks and we had only one question is in the end and he was the one who asked it actually he said you all are probably thinking why and even they don't have an answer because they thought it will be much faster 
but it's it's much faster only in very specific cases, not everywhere. So now they're like, we could have just gone with Apache Spark. Uh, so they're not sure, but at least they tried. They learned a lot. So now if they go to Apache Spark, it will be a bad decision. Uh, that's true, but actually, maybe it have some reason. It's uh, as far as I know, some some b really big uh, systems like big big banks are creating. Uh, actually, they don't using uh, Enterprise Java at all. They're creating pretty much the same what uh, Enterprise Java proposed, but uh, using the pure Java from from the scratch. Maybe it's a safety reason, yeah. or security reason. Maybe it makes sense. Maybe it's the same reason why many banks and telecom don't use cloud uh, tool. They're using their own uh, in-premises servers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, because writing Java is so difficult. It's actually correct what he wrote here in terms of grammar. O also, one thing I would say when you are choosing the technology, go to LinkedIn, select your region, uh, select remote jobs only, and check how many jobs there are for JavaScript plus Node.js and how many jobs are there for Java. And then I will ask you, why would you go for Java? I love Java. It's cool. But I want you to have to be how to call it, competitive in the market. So, uh, yeah, so um, um, unless this, and all good Java positions, they normally say that, all the best positions this day, they say that we want you to be proficient in one of the main open source or, or object-oriented languages. And they include uh, Ruby there, so, and uh, sometimes JavaScript and Java and Kotlin. So the list is like that because they're like, it's not possible to know Java anymore. This come on, this twenty first edition coming now. Nobody in the whole world knows Java, uh, so uh, like you cannot be a Java developer anymore. I'm afraid you'll be. Uh, you'll just can select priorities and what you do. So uh, like Mikola a lot of people, does... are, people are yeah. still running Java eight, aren't they? Yeah, you're looking at one. <laughs> <laughs> so well. But uh, beyond, so I can spend time on learning Java 8 or Java 11 or 20, but how will it help the business I care for and how will it help my friends I care for and the community? Not much. I know there are virtual threats coming in 20, but, uh, oh, uh, I, I've lost the sound for some reason. Uh, maybe my headphones went off. Can you hear me? Can you raise a hand? Oh, now, yes, now yes, yeah. yeah. Maybe somebody just went on mute and uh, the noise stopped. But uh, I would rather invest my time into learning what Dean did over the week, what Bilal did over the week, what Sarinda, what Akshay, and then I will learn maybe not as much, but I will go like deeper. Let's say Akshay and Bilal work on Golang part of Dev Lake or any other platform engineering platform uh, project in Golang. And there's actually a good book as well. I can find it um, maybe you can i know uh, we'll see but there's a book on like uh professional use of golang with examples like ready projects to do so that will bring me more value because uh, i can direct people uh than me knowing how to create a virtual thread in java which at my work i'll be able to use maybe in 10 years from now uh mm -hmm. if i'm still there mm, really it's a bad deal. I'm not saying don't learn Java. I'm saying uh, the tree of life. Stay present to your tree of life. Java is a not is not your tree of life. Most probably, it's something bigger. Maybe it, my opinion just just not uh, subjective note. Maybe it's uh, you can choose your own way, your own path. Uh, I know one of developers. He is still working. Uh, well, it was many years ago, but he was working for many years in Fox Pro. Fox Pro was popular many years ago, but he worked only for, on Fox Pro. Definitely, he knows all the versions. He knows latest versions very well. He has a huge experience, and you know he had a lot of projects to work on. Maybe the in general there are not many projects, but uh, people knows him, and he, he is quite good on his his uh, skill. Uh, and uh, it depends. Maybe you can, maybe there are different ways you can choose. You can choose some, like, for example, like language like Fox Pro, Java. You can use some domain, and then uh, maybe. You can use some combinations. Maybe you can follow like uh, Nikita's advice, like find what is popular today, what is what can solve business tasks in the best way today. What is and invest money? Oh, sorry, money. Invest time. Actually, it's time is even more important than money. You, you can invest your time to learning what is more you, you see is most useful for you for for your career, right? 
Ja grem kaj tam. Ja, make sure your tree of life, which only you can choose, that is healthy. And that's it. I'm not, I cannot dictate you how to build it. Uh, I'll be wrong and I'll damage the real stuff. That's the book I wanted to share. Uh, I know this person we've met, Danya. Donya, so she's amazing. She's mostly into like micro go, something to do, I don't know, something, whatever. But this this is like, so instead of Java, do that as, a, as, as for those who want to have some fun. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't have anything else to share. And also I'm like... Yeah, I have a one question time. for... Dean. Yeah, sure. May I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as, as you are an ambassador of a wonderful organization, Eddie Hub, so yep. recently I also got selected as an ambassador of a Wilco. It's a Israel-based company. So I want to yep. I want to ask you from you, like you have experience for ambassador also, how I can play that role in better way for ambassador and all. Some tips from you. Um, well, yeah, I'm still sort of learning how to do it because this is the first time I've ever done anything like it. But um, really it's just about being open to what they're sort of expecting in the community. Um, I know Eddie Hub's a good one because they are very clear with the expectations of the community. Um, out, we've got a very strong focus on inclusivity, so um, language is important and sort of how you treat people is important. So just to make sure we have a focus on that. Um, I actually slipped up last week and got a bit angry at someone on Twitter. So, um, yeah, try not to do that. Um, I probably should have just not said anything and let myself calm down, but we're not perfect. Um, I apologised and it's all okay, but it doesn't mean that it was okay to do in the first place. So just, yeah, be careful how you carry yourself because there are a lot of people looking up to you. Yeah. Great. Normally what I do when somebody hurts, I thank them. Because my idea is that I, I, I'm my idea is to stop the stuff as early as possible and also don't look like I, I will take anything. So I normally would thank the person for their valuable opinion, and maybe I will say that next time I'll do better. Yeah, well, I'm yeah, not I'll, what, I what was, I'll do better. There, there was just no. I was clearly in the wrong here. Like there was no well, question. Yeah, but, just but um, next. Yeah, yeah. There, there are ways to stop yeah. the toxic discussions. Just thank them for their time. And yeah, stop. that's it. And that's it. It's probably it's passive toxic as well, but like, you know, we are not ideal. When I know a better solution, I'll tell you. <laughs> but yeah. Right, right. Good. Anything else to share? I traditionally want to thank everyone uh, for the team and especially Nikita for this meeting. And I really great that, uh, to be honest, uh, for me, it was a little bit tough. You know, I was so sleepy. It's like Sunday. I want to relax, but no, just join. I, I don't need to say, say you didn't you did make anything you promised to do. It's okay. You can don't say anything. Just join. <laughs> just be there. That's it. Mm. So, yeah, yes, that's all the rule. Yeah. Keep coming. Oh, yep. How do you say? The bla a black belt is a white belt who kept appearing. Yep, exactly. So, uh, so in open source we have the same one. So, um, a good developer is so good contributor is just the person who kept appearing. We don't need you to, to create a rocket. I don't code very well. I, I can code some things, but I don't even know Java these days. Still, there are things I can do. Good. Uh, I wish you to uh, uh, to have a really nice Sunday and uh, yes, nice Ramadan. Once again, it's a huge celebration. We have I have a mosque here not far from my uh, house, so I often see people on Sundays, like all year round, in uh, in this in the closing. But especially now, so I think I'll actually go on a walk, and I specifically will go next to the mosque. So uh, yeah, I, I just like this route; it's more peaceful there. But uh, yeah, thank you very much, everybody, for coming. Yeah, actually, Bilal, actually, yes, I, actually, I should. Uh, I will take my shoes off and I will visit. But uh, I need to think about it. I cannot do it just now. I I'll wait till it's like Ramadan is over and uh, there's less people. But uh, yeah, I think I'll do. Good idea. Uh, thank you. Okay, uh, okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dean and, uh, and Bilal for coming. We're Good doing it every week. So yeah. uh, I, I will arrange it for the next week now. And, yeah, uh, yeah. No problem. Thank you for arranging. 
you don't have to do anything you can come and say you failed at everything or you can just come <laughs> just just come okay yep. yeah good see you bye bye bye, okay. bye, -bye. Thank you. Thank you.